Good to go. All right. Thank you and good morning and welcome to today's uh, vote uh, by the Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations on uh, this important resolution. Um, I am Jimmy Van Bramer, the chair of the committee, and we're formally uh, in session uh, and we're going to hold a hearing and a vote on a very important resolution which condemns the Charlottesville neo-Nazi rally and it calls upon President Trump to swiftly, unequivocally, and consistently denounce such actions and ideologies uh, and direct funding to organizations working to counter far-right extremism. We're joined by Council Member Andy King of the Bronx, and uh, we're going to keep this hearing uh, open, uh, but also to facilitate the vote because there are many committee meetings happening simultaneously. Uh, I'm going to ask if Council Member King can vote now, uh, and then we will uh, hold this committee open uh, in recess uh, until we begin again and uh, hear more um, uh, testimony and have more votes. So if the um, roll can be called for Council Member King. Committee Clerk Matthew DeStefano, Committee on Cultural Affairs, Libraries, and International Intergroup Relations, roll call on the pre-considered resolution. Council Member King. Of course. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for bringing this hearing together to bring awareness, but more importantly, call to action and unite all Americans against the bigotry and prejudice that's happening all across our country. As great as strong as our country is in 2017, there are certain norms that have been prevalent as that has been laid out in our statues and pictures all across this country. And I'm glad, you know, one of the things that we complain about um, our president, I think one of the th greatest things has come out of his debacle of his miscommunication, bad communication, irreprehensible uh, irre conversation was that he woke up us to what America truly is right now and how do we need to really change it on the front lines. And the great, greatest way to inspire people is to say something to inspire people. And as much as we might, might not like what he said, he's waking up America for Americans to act. And what has happened in Charlottesville, and even all across, and to towns that have been marching, whether it's in Boston, Massachusetts, or any place, that people have said enough is enough and we're going to be standing true and strong as greater Americans. So on one end, uh, I am sat dissatisfied with what Trump has done, and on the other hand, I'm grateful that he's waking us all up just to take a step forward to improve America, because the only way America improves is when we all come together as one. So with that all being said, I'm glad to vote on this resolution to call on Trump to denounce all acts of bigotry and president as the leader of our country, and more importantly, any funding that has been removed to fight all these ridiculous acts of hatred be restored, and as we move forward as a better government. So with that all being said, I vote aye. Thank you very much, uh, Council Member King. Uh, and with that, we will hold this uh, committee meeting in recess. Um, and begin shortly and also obviously keep open the vote uh, until more members are present. Thank you.